Hi, I'm Phil from Prep RS. Now, I promised you four years ago that I would show you my luxury bunker uh, when it's complete. Well, it is now finished and I'm going to show it you. Sorry it's been so long, but you may notice I've lost a little weight as well, which I'm really, really pleased about. So, so that's great. And I intended to, which is even a happier situation, but that, that's great. So let, let's show you now. Wow, look at this. So here we have the obligatory wine store. We have plenty of wine down here, and that's marvellous. So we have that food store and supplies here in Barrel. We have some water over here in quite convenient uh, tubs, like this. They're really convenient. They will last for a very long time because uh, no light can get in because they're, they're in darkness generally anyway, but they're also black. So these are fully, fully uh, sealed to the elements, so that's great. So no, no insects, nothing can get in at all. So they're sealed, but we do have underground water supplies here as well, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's walk through to the next section of the bunker. This is one of the larger sections and we use it as a jazz bar. Why not, while well, it's not being used? It's concrete throughout. You might see that it's got bricks and some people say, oh, it's not a bunker because it's been built out of brick, but these are just cladding uh, because I wanted it as a luxury. I didn't want concrete walls. We've got concrete roof, but I wanted the, the walls to be more luxurious while we're enjoying it in peacetime, really. So if you look through here, this is the jazz bar. This will sit about 40 people. And underneath here, we've got a water supply. We've got a, an underground water supply. There it is. Under here we have water and that fills itself up as well. We have the fire, which is really useful here because you can cook on it. So we've got a fire here with the flue that goes right up to the surface and, and even higher. And you can cook food on top of this wood building. It's a wood burning stove, really useful. Plenty of logs down here as well. Right, let me take you to the games room, but first I want to show you where the band uh, fits in, in here. So the band, the five piece band, performs in front of this curtain here to about 40 to 60 people. So here we are, that's the jazz bar, and now I'm going to show you the games room, one of my favourite spots down here. Yes, it's definitely a big space down here, that's for sure. The walls, people say, how thick's the wall? Well, they're concrete, they're about two feet thick uh, and clad This one is stone, actually, so it's really beautiful. So they're quite thick, but they've got rebar in as well. But this is not designed to be a direct hit bunker. Uh, they are not a target, so why would it be? It's more what, what you might call a fallout bunker. Nuclear fallout, so that all this horrible dust comes over from where the bomb's gone off. If indeed it goes off, from Europe or anywhere else, this will keep you safe from that nuclear fallout. So that, that's what it is. So we have a selection of games down here, the pool table of course, ping pong, we have air hockey, and we have uh, table football over here, dartboard, and of course we have a lovely bar over here. And of course we have a servery with lots of food, always for rapid rapid response just here. And we have a, a British Burkefield here. Let me show you that. There's a video dedicated to this. You can put pond water or any water in the top here and it filters through three, or is it four? Sorry, it's four ceramic candles and then drip, drip, drip into this bottom container here. But then it's pure. It's the floor, you will notice, is all Bitumous. It's a bitumous floor which is 100% waterproof. What I would say is because this is underground, it has the potential to flood. Of course it does. It's reliant on pumps all the time. So without that, it would flood. And that's why you see Persian carpets, because they can all be rolled up and they can all be taken out. And we have a flood bar here as well. So the beds can all be in here. A lot of these chairs recline, fully recline, to make a bed as well. So we can sleep up to 30 people down here. Toilets will be pumped up or used as chemical toilets, uh, in, basically in the barrels. 
There's a shower and other items that are essential. The kitchen sink, basically. All behind these curtains here. They're all ready to come out, along with lots of mattresses, bedding, pillows, everything you need to stay down here comfortably. Air filtration is very important. It's more for the fallout, nuclear fallout, and it, it can be from dust, really. We've got a huge one, it's about this size, from a warship, and basically, it's just a, a, a coil, air goes through it and passes through walls of charcoal. So you can make your own as well. It's all about charcoal, really. So you can filter the air um, on YouTube, uh, PrepOS YouTube, you'll find information of how to make your own nuclear resistant air filter. I would watch that, it's had 180,000 views already. When, when you play darts a lot, you get pretty good. I like to stand back here when I play my darts. Now we have a library down here as well, and there's everything from how to play chess, things to keep people occupied, but also a lot of survival uh, books as well. Very, very important. So a lot of survival books, a lot of entertainment books, and factual books cookery books as well, things like that that you might need uh, if you're down here for a, a few weeks. After these doors are all closed, we put the bars in. These big heavy bars then go in as well, every couple of feet to make it double secure. So that's how it all secures.